Hey guys, welcome to Gibson's Outdoors. This is a podcast episode, so it's going to be a little different than what you saw in the last video. This is more of actually me just sitting here talking. I do have a microphone, so finally no more yelling, because I really didn't enjoy that the last video. The yelling kind of sucked. But I do have something cool for you guys during this video. I got this cool kit that I thought would be really cool to share with you guys and think about using it throughout the summer and have a challenge to go with it and see how that's going to work out. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel if you like fishing, you like camping, you like survival kits, you like unboxings. All of it will be happening right on this channel. If you did not watch the first video, like I said in the first video, every other week will be a normal video, especially in the summertime, will be more like GoPro footage and everything like that, of fishing, hiking, different adventures throughout that kind of stuff, but on the opposite weeks, it'll be more of just this, just me here on any random topic. But this week's topic is actually something that I bought that I thought would be pretty cool. So... What I bought is this right here. This is a Create a Lure six-pack edition. You paint your own lures and seal them and put the eyes on them, the treble hooks, the jump rings. It comes with it all, and you pretty much build your own lure. You pick everything all the way down to the color scheme. They have a Musky edition, and they have a Topwater edition, Along with this. This is a six pack random edition. So we're going to open this up. We're going to get into it. But before we get into it and I actually get into further details. What I am going to do. I'm going to send you guys off to a short clip and for you to be able to see this up close and personal. And then I'll see you back here. So. Get to see you guys back. So, as you guys saw in that video, <clears throat> there are six lures inside this kit. The eyes do look very cheap, adhesive. Um, I'm not sure how those are really gonna hold up in the water. Um, hopefully, not too bad, but. Who knows? I mean, personally, I feel like they're just going to fall off. But we are still going to stick them on to give them a try. So, now let's open this up and actually talk about this kit. And what we personally feel. And then we'll give it a rating so far on what we think. Because we can't give it an official rating until we take it on the water. So let's open this guy up. <clears throat> On the paints that come in this kit, there is a X right here. And that is to show you that that one is not a white paint. That is your sealer to make sure that the paint stays on these lures as they are going through the water. first lure I pick up is a long diver and as we also can see the bill is not the typical plastic that you would see on 
a lure, usually they're the clear. Uh, this is molded right with the lure, same material. Um, they don't feel that cheap, though. I mean, they they feel like a decent quality, at least uh, for the price. I picked this kit up on Amazon for thirty-two to thirty-three dollars. Um, I feel like it's more of something that you know, it's it's fun for kids to do. Um, who is actually what I'm gonna have paint these is I'm gonna hand them to kids and get their name with the lure and we're gonna take them out in the water we're gonna test them out we're gonna fish every single lure and the lure to catch the most is going to actually win a prize so that's our first one we have a nice little topwater popper um, feels decent quality like I said not bad uh, we got a treble hook spot in the back and on the bottom on the diver it was the same style on the bottom and on the back and they do give you the rings to tie your line to next we have a frog style bait <clears throat> with a spot for the hook only in the back and the line ring on the front nose of the frog but it seems to be a spinning frog it feels like I can say that I, I feel like this would be a topwater bait um, it's light uh, just the way that it swims on the top that spin alone reminds me kind of like a like a buzz bait um the eyes on this one stick out so i'm not sure if adhesive eyes would go on the frog i'm not sure what to call this guy looks like just a typical little torpedo shaped lure bottom and back for the treble hook and jump rings and a nose tie for your line. Uh, recess lines like on the diver um, for the adhesive eyes. A swim style bait. So this actually doesn't feel that bad of quality to be honest with you guys. Um, again the bill is molded right in with it. Um, recessed for the eyes so that you can place the sticky eyes on there that I'm really not sure how well they are going to hold up and last but not least a clutch now on the clutch I put the treble hooks in the jump rings on so that you guys can get a picture of what they look like <clears throat> together and it's not too bad looking. Um, I'm I'm pretty fine with it. Uh, it feels similar um, from the first video that Guggen Squad clutch the gold series, which I actually have right here. The Guggen Squad clutch compared to the. Paint your own clutch. Um, similar styles, uh, a little more rounded on the Guggen Squad clutch, I'd say. Um, a jump ring actually on the top of the Guggen Squad too for your line. It's not just the typical ring. Um, same placement for your treble hooks. So they did a good job with the placement to make it match the normal lure. Um, obviously. I feel like the Guggen Squad Clutch will catch them all day long compared to this paint your own. I am definitely not saying that these compare anywheres to almost any brand, honestly, I'd say. Um, but you never know what you can catch fish on. I mean, people are catching them on gummy worms. Um... I mean, anything really people are catching them on. I, I mean, I've caught panfish on just 
a normal hook with nothing on it. They just like the shine. They go for it. Um, I really just see it being maybe the way this is painted is pretty much the way I see it. As I showed in that little clip, the treble hooks come with nice casing so you do not stab yourself. They come with jump rings and the adhesive eyes in each bag. So that's what we got inside the box. It's not a bad looking kit. I think it'd be fun. And it's cool to see what they're going to come up with for their own little ideas, I, I believe, you know, paint schemes. Um, and then I will personally install the jump rings in the hooks. That way they are all installed the same way. And obviously I don't, I don't want children installing treble hooks. It's It wasn't fun for me to install these. It was actually very, very difficult. Um, and I don't want them to have to deal with that. So that is going to be a future video that we will have going when we can finally get out fishing. <clears throat> so for the comment for this video, we obviously got the dip run poster. Great movie. If you guys have not seen it, it is on Amazon Prime. Outlaw makes Outlaw Dip. Uh, Darcy, which is mud, uh, the original Mud Jug 1, which is now Jesse Ryan and Chris Dips 1, which are both on here also. And it is a signed poster by all of them. This is the brand new Guggen Spinning Rod with the Guggen Spinning Rod Reel 2500 series that was in the first video that I cannot wait to start taking that one out on the lake. I really cannot. So the comment, and I want to see, what else do you guys want to see back here? What would catch your eyes and make it look pretty nice back here for you guys to have a better visual for while we're doing these videos? So maybe next time we'll have a guest on a podcast video. But until then, that's all I got for you guys, and I'll catch you on the next one.